Hey, YouTube. Team Ruby is back together in Ruby Volume 6. Yeah, and you could watch it only on Rooster Teeth. For free. For free? Nothing. June is special because she's kind of like this first time we're seeing this magical being in present day Ruby. Not quite something we've seen before. She had like a lot of love and care put into her. Tell me, what knowledge do you seek? Episode two for Jin brings a lot of history to the world. She is a keeper of knowledge. She's not obviously like any character that we've seen so far in the entire show. She's literally just something else. Like most other animation stuff, we start off with what the writers have given us or what the director has given us, so the idea, that pure idea of what we knew we were gonna have. But yeah, we have a rough start there. It's pretty exciting um, to get to design probably one of the most important or influential characters in the series so far. She has different body proportions than we're used to seeing in Ruby. She's very tall, her face is longer, her neck's longer. So a lot of her jewelry is kind of influenced by both the statue we saw in Volume 5, but also the lantern. Like this great is used on her, like her necklace. The loops from the handle are also on her belt and her earrings up here. And again, you can see some on her legs that's also taken from the lantern. Obviously, since she's this powerful deity type, all-knowing being, she's always floating. She's always really wispy and feels light. We get to have some of our animators play a lot more with just the constant ambient of like her hair, chains, dress, always moving. We wanted to make her look ethereal, of course, and you know, like a genie, so you know, surrounding her with smoke, and we wanted to give her a dress. We've put a cone around her, and it emanates smoke to create a form dress around her waist. Visual effects in this context, um, it's a lot of magical type effects. But basically what we get told is, do magic. Uh, in this case, in chapter two, it was a lot of gin smoke. We take the skirt and we roughen the edges up, uh, and then in the simulation, uh, we add a lot of curl noise and we take the incoming movement from that skirt and we use that as like our general motion. So then there's like another pass of smoke where it's coming from the actual chains and like her jewelry and stuff as well. And that's the yellow type aura that you kind of see coming from her. Like Jin is a culmination of every single department figuring out this one character. It's cool to always get as many different perspectives on anything you can as much as possible. Episodes like this really bring out the creativity of everybody here. We want to make something that gives the fans something to be in awe of and something that we're very proud of at the end of the day.